Hey guys, today I will present problem 6 from the European Girls Math Olympiad 2023. Let's first take a look at the picture. We consider a triangle ABC with circumcircle omega and in center I. Moreover, we denote the midpoint of arc BC that contains A with NA, the midpoint of arc AC that doesn't contain B with SB, and similarly the midpoint of arc AB that doesn't contain C with SC. Now we define a circle omega B that is internally tangent to omega at SB and tangent to the triangle side AB. Similarly, omega C is internally tangent on omega at SC and tangent on AC. Lastly, we will denote the second intersection of line NAI with omega by X. We are asked to prove that X lies on the radical axis of circles omega B and omega C which is this red line G passing through their intersections. The first question when solving a geometry problem is not necessarily what is the first step, but how do we draw a good diagram? Here, the main difficulty is constructing circles omega B and omega C. For omega B, we already know that its center must lie on the line through SB and the center of circle omega. But we also need to use the tangency of omega b and ab. So let us try to understand this tangency point better. Let us call this tangency point d. When dealing with omega b, it is a good idea to consider the homotopy at sb that sends the circle omega b to omega. The question now becomes to find the image of d under that homotopy. Since d lies on omega b, its image is on omega, and moreover, the tangent of omega at the image of D is parallel to AB. Both properties are satisfied by SC, which is moreover the only point on that arc with the property, and therefore we know that SC is the image of D, which implies that SB, D, and SC are collinear. By intersecting the line through SB and the midpoint of omega with the perpendicular on AB through D, we indeed get the center of omega b and so we were indeed successful with our construction. Moreover, we figured out a useful fact about our configuration, namely we know that the tangency point of ab at omega b, which we call d, lies on line sb sc. By symmetry, the tangency point e of ac at omega c also lies on line sb sc. Now we have a beautiful picture where we can already guess, or we already know, that AD is equal to AE. One way we can prove this is by taking a look at these angles. Let's just evaluate AED. So angle AED is equal to angles ASBE plus angle EASB. Angle ASBE is just the angle over arc ASC, which is half of the interior angle ACB. We also have that angle EASB is equal to the angle above arc CSB, which is half of the interior triangle angle CBA. Since this expression is symmetric in B and C, we also get that angle EDA is equal to this, and therefore this triangle is isosceles. In particular, the length of the tangent of A to circle omega C, which is just AE, is equal to the tangent length of A to omega B, and we write this down as AE squared equals AD squared, which says nothing but that the power of A with respect to circles omega B and omega C are equal, and therefore A lies on the radical axis G of the two circles. We have thus found our first nice point on G. To obtain another point on G, we notice that we do have a third circle, omega, that has nice relationships to omega b and omega c. And we recall that if we have three circles and consider for each pair of them their radical axis, then the intersection of two of those radical axes will lie inside of the third one. The radical axis of omega b and omega is just their common tangent at SB. And similarly, the radical axis of omega C and omega is their common tangent at SC. 
So let us draw these two lines in. By the previous fact, we obtain that their intersection F must also lie on the line G. Now we immediately get a harmonic quadrilateral in the following way. Namely, if we define X prime to be the second intersection of line AF, which is G with omega, then the points A X prime and F B S C are harmonic. This is simply due to the fact that the tangent lines at S B and S C of omega intersect on the line A X prime. We can give a proof of this using a projective transformation at F. Namely, we have that the cross ratio AX prime SB as C equals X prime A as B as C. And since only the first two terms are flipped, this is just the inverse of AX prime SB as C. Since the four points are distinct, this cross ratio doesn't equal one, and we can conclude that indeed A x prime s b s c is equal to minus one and so the two pairs are harmonic to get back to our original problem let us notice that by the way we define x prime we need to show that x prime is equal to x to finish our proof we can use the following fact together with this result to prove what we need namely we have that if two cross ratios are equal and three of their points are also the same, then the fourth point must also be equal. Therefore, we only need to prove that also the pairs AX and SBSC are harmonic. Notice that by definition, X lies on line I and A, and therefore, to evaluate the cross ratio AX, SB, SC, we can first try to project at point I in any triangle, each vertex lies on a straight line with the in center and the midpoint of the opposite arc. For example, AI and the midpoint of arc BC not containing I, which I will denote by SA, are collinear. Therefore, our projection at I maps A to SA. We already noted that X goes to NA and SB and C go to B and C respectively. Notice that the quadrilateral B, S, A, C, N, A is a kite and therefore these points are harmonic and we indeed obtain that these cross ratios are equal and therefore we are done. As an exercise, I challenge you to solve this problem using square root DCE's version.